check for advanced restart button in this particular ROM it's available I am booting into recovery using that if you don't have that press the volume up button and power button to boot into recovery use the orange fox recovery latest for redmi note 7 pro you can see here once booted into recovery go to this delete section it's wipe actually and go to this advanced wipe and select dalvik catch system vendor and data and swipe here to wipe it once that has done go to home section here and select this files section wherever you download the rom zip files go there first flash the firmware always miui violet in global 12.5.1 this is the latest available firmware for redmi note 7 pro flash it once that has been done again go to home section here and flash the rom zip file i am flashing here in this video project elixir 1.7 you can see here violet 12.1 this is the latest available build for redmi note 7 pro i'll get a little bit closer you can see here with may security patch latest build with 11th may build date it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed as you can see the rom zip file has been flashed successfully here again go to home section and select this files and select f script disabler v3 if you want to format data you can skip this method I mean the last step again go to home section and select this menu here and select reboot and select the system now it's going to boot it into project elixir latest version for redmi note 7 pro this is how the flashing method follow the same method and use the same zip file and same firmware you will never face any problems here we go it booted into project elixir and let's begin this video Hey back again to new video this is Sampath you are watching Sampath SamFX YouTube channel and this is Redmi Note 7 Pro custom ROM reviews you can see here project elixir shrew for amelioration android version 12 may 5th 2022 latest build this is and latest security patch elixir version is 1.7 a ceiling status is enforcing and kernel used here is 4.14.190 x caliber kernel has been used here and wednesday may 11th build this is the latest one and i have been running the cpu throttling test from last five minutes you can see here the maximum is 132 average is 128 and minimum is 117 million gips and there is no thermal throttling has been detected very good rom this is not just this even the benchmark results like antidote benchmark you can see here 2,82,333 and the temperature raise was just 1.8 degree celsius and battery drop was just 4% very good ROM this is and very good score and very good power efficient I will show you everything even the BGMI gameplay also let's see this Geekbench scores also it's also very good as you can see single score almost 502 and multi score is 1468 could have been at least 1500 but it's near to that but it's fine very good ROM this is after a long time i am seeing this course and this cp thermal throttling in redmi node sampro and this is how the quick settings panel you get if you want to edit options there are plenty of options again here for example location is turned on i made everything results based on location turned on if i would have turned off it would be even better maybe i don't know even sync is turned on let me turn this off location high accuracy battery saving turn off close you need to be aware of these things sync and location you can turn it off whenever you boot into this rom for first time it will be turned on by default and uh, this are the quick settings panel and this is the settings it looks a little bit smaller fonts and smaller icons but arranged like this neatly and into display options you get extra dim adaptive brightness lock on screen time or dark theme you can use this option for pitch black theme as you can see in it enable now it's in exactly pitch black condition if you don't do that it will be like gray type or something purplish type whatever based upon the wallpaper it will made like that but my intention is to use this pitch black theme then only you will get this kind of pitch black condition that i really like it and here you go essence you get plenty of customization here themes coming soon network icon you get plenty of options here battery style you can choose from here battery percentage you can hide or enable from here 
we bright on touch and show brightness slider and bottom adaptive brightness button show qs and Q brightness slider those options are given and lock screen gestures here plenty of customization again ripple effect is there screen of animation is there Q qs style require unlocking you can enable or disable some of the options you can read here and extras you get advanced restart button here if you enable that you can directly boot into recovery fast boot mode system everything options will appear and success and error vibration in fingerprint scanner you can enable or disable from here playback control volume rocker wave those things also you can enable or disable from here these are the customization available in this elixir os there is a separate section called essence there only you found thus options and coming into wallpaper sound style again you get plenty of wallpapers here all and at all stock type wallpapers are present here and basic colors options given dark theme as i said before enable that pitch black theme and themed icons upgrade you can choose from 2 to 2 to 5 to 5 that's the limitation no higher grid size here and into sound and vibration you get all the basic sound settings here you can enable or disable from here haptic feedback is also is it there yes it's available as you can see you can choose the patterns also some of them are pre-included in this particular room and me sound enhancer i mean the direct sound settings are also given you can choose the headphone type and preset from here clear speaker option is also given in this particular elixir os 1.7 for redmi note 7 pro and moving into accessibility here you get accessibility menu this is an handy feature to have in this particular room without using the actual buttons you can toggle the volume from here without using sliding i mean without sliding this you can use the brightness control from here not just that there are plenty of options you can see here this is a very cool handy feature to have in any android stock type roms i have been keep on telling this but how many of you use let me know in the comment section below and vibration and haptics are given here at your adjustment all the android 12 style it's available and into system into the gestures into system navigation gesture settings there is op option to increase the pill length but height is not available but still you can see that there is a differentiation between the chin and that pill and the overall screen that should be there that should not be indeed in the chin then it will be not useful not visible at all this is fine but they should have the option in next builds that to increase the height of the pill also and swipe to screenshot this also working fine basic things are working fine here as you can see scrolling speeds are also working fine you won't face any problem in this particular room calling is also fine direct video call feature is available everything is working fine speed test uh, let me show you with wi-fi connection i have 100 mps geo giga fiber connection it's pulling up to 90 to 95 mps which is fine enough even with mobile data connection also i tested it's working fine carrier aggregation support is also there earpiece problem no no such problems here and uh, headphone jack quality is also fine enough no problem here let's see the bgmi gameplay before that you get anx camera as pre-installed camera here if you want you can use any other gcam ports all the gcam ports are working fine based upon your interest you can try those things and let's move into drm info here you get level 1 certification such that you can watch all the ODT applications in hd resolution that's not the problem here let me install the safety net status and by the way if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon whenever i upload a new video you will get notified and if you like the video give it a like many people watching my videos but not subscribing to my channel and you can see here safety net status it will get passed yes obviously it will get passed this is an official rom for redmi note 7 pro you can see here you can use all the payment application you can use it as a daily driver that's the conclusion here in terms of day-to-day -day usage let's see the bgma how it handles and what all the graphic settings it have here we go now into bgma and graphic settings is set to smooth plus ultra only but why the fps is showing more than 45 like that i really don't know is it as a fake fps count or real let me know in the comment section below if you know that i will also research that later but as of now you can just ignore that if it is real then you can check out that i don't think so it's in 60 fps the smoothness is not that smooth compared to 40 it's like 40 only smooth plus ultra only but it's weird here why it's showing 60 and let's see bootcamp how it handles with this particular fps 
I also show you following with this tedium. Stay tuned. And loudness and volume panel you can see here. Loudness is not too much loud, but it's audible, playable, but obviously people use earphones. In that area, no problems you will face. <laughs> you can see here this is exactly fake FPS count. Even flagship phones won't have 50 FPS during this. And device is also feeling a little bit warm at the back side. I don't know why. This Excalibur Plus kernel is capable of handling BGMI but FPS also be supported here then only you can get very good output from this particular ROM I mean in terms of gaming you can see here I can able to make a kill in this Sanok we don't have okay he had M762 the touch response is fine but uh, FPS as I said before it's not as smooth as 60 one can easily judge that okay now with 3DM you can see the same graphic settings with smooth plus ultra only let's see how it handles in 3DM definitely playable but not as smooth as 60 fps i'm keep on telling this because 60 fps will make you play smoothly compared to this 40 fps however we don't have 90 fps support hardware level support for admin node some pro hence 60 as you can see i can't even make a single kill but here it's showing 60 this is fake one i never thought this will happen but it's happened okay i will come back and let me show you the charging animation and will it supports or not okay the face unlock is very good it shows the ampere and voltage how much it is taking and let me show you the fingerprint unlock as you can see it's not fast it taking half a second to unlock you can see here and face unlock is quick enough to unlock your smartphone in this particular ROM as you can see again once again very very quick and coming to other if you are looking for a gaming ROM then you can try it out if you know how to unlock high FS count then this is going to be a very good ROM considering the benchmark results and day to day usage it's very good ROM you can definitely try it out as a daily driver and even the battery life let me show you once again the battery options here as you can see it hasn't recorded but it's fine enough you can see here about over 47 minutes left considering the bgmi gameplay it's very good battery in this particular room and that's all guys in this video hope you like the video if you like it give it a like and we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling baba for now